the roar, the rut, the time of the year where hunters pack their gear and head into the hills in search of roaring stags. For my roar this year, I would be travelling back to New Zealand for a month long hunting trip, chasing red and seeker deer. After landing in New Zealand, it was a quick catch up with family before we loaded up Jono's ute and headed south. We were soon on the ferry and heading across the Cook Strait. With us in gear across the South Island, we continued our way down and were soon loaded in the chopper and heading for the hills. down in our planned drop off point, we were soon on our own, with 8 days ahead of us, exploring some new spectacular country. Let's go! Okay, so we're just flying in, and just getting camp set up, and the cloud is just starting to roll in, but yeah, there's been um, plenty of sign, we saw quite a few deer flying in. So yeah, get camp set up and then go for a walk. Okay, so we've just been out for an afternoon class and we've already seen a few hides around. No stags yet, a few goats. But yeah, good, good early signs. We've had a couple distant roars. But yeah, there are some hides down there. country. First afternoon, <clears throat> seen two stags and quite a few hinds, probably 15 hinds. Uh, stags are all just small, eight pointers, young. Uh, but the big development for the day is we just found out that our cooker doesn't work. <laughs> so one of the brass fittings from inside's fallen out. So. Yeah, we've just found out we're not going to be eating warm food for a while. We've only got dehydrated meals. <coughs> so yeah, it's going to be with a test run to see how they go with cold water. I can't imagine they're going to be that great, but yeah, time will tell. But yeah, the old cooker. Hmm? No hot coffees. No hot food. Not ideal. And the clouds, the old cloud and the clags coming as well. So day one. Mm. Hopefully it burns off. We get. <coughs> we just want to have to look into one other catchment. Hopefully before the sun sets, but we'll see. Okay, so we just tried the cold uh, red ox meal and did not hit the spot. So we've resorted to uh, strawberry ambrosia 
dessert for dinner. So, should be good. All right, well that's gonna be a wrap for the first day. We'll catch you in the morning. Cold mornings. Clear skies. Steep hills. And heavy packs. What more could you ask for? Perhaps a few deer feeding away in the galley below. clock beautiful morning and a few deer around um, mostly hinds a couple small stags but yeah no big boys uh, our game plan now is gonna drop drop down uh, walk one of these creeks out we were planning to try and traverse this this back ridge line but yeah we decided we was gonna drop down there pop up another saddle uh, we've got a couple more days of fine weather so I want to make the most of that so keep on up keep up on these tops yeah. we'll load up now and carry on along managed to close the distance on this young spiker. Who also had a hind and yearling close by.
we let them move on before we continued our way down the valley. Okay, end of day two. Um, didn't quite go to, well, didn't quite go to plan. Uh, we've managed to get where we were planning to get, but it just took a lot longer than expected. But yeah, um, quite a few deer seen. Uh, no big staggies. And yeah, we're in the tent and see what tomorrow brings. We checked the forecast of the inReach and it's looking like it's going to be pretty average, but you never know. We'll wake up and see what we get. But yeah, early night tonight, we're pretty. Um, Pretty bugged, big down the hill. See you in the morning. Okay, day three. <clears throat> and we're just out hunting today, so we're right up at the tops, blowing a northwesterly. Uh, we've seen about seven hinds, oh, I think there's six hinds and one spiker, no stag. So, just covering country as um, uh, Clag rolls in and out, so. Pretty tough hunting, but yeah, just keep keep moving. With the light fading and still a fair old hike back at camp, Jono spotted a stag feeding out with his hinds. We got the spotter on the stag, and at 700 metres, we made the call to close the distance. Dropping the distance down to 340 metres, and finding a suitable shooting platform, I set up the camera and rifle. As I was ready to take the shot, the stag walked below a crest and proceeded to chase some hinds out of the camera shot. With no time to move the camera, I lined up the stag and took the shot. The shot found its mark and the stag was down. It ended up being a 10 pointer. We thought it had been an 11, however it was missing a bay time. Still a cracked stag and an amazing hunt. I then somehow managed to not press the record button on the main camera. I take my hat off to those guys who managed to consistently get cracking video footage of their hunts as soon as a bit of excitement or action hits, I seem to crumble. Room for improvement, I suppose. Right. Okay, end of day three. Big down the hill. Um, we just got back to camp. It's eight o'clock. So yeah, what was it? About 14 hours out and about. Um, we managed to get on that 10-pointer, which was, yeah, just stoked. Um, yeah, very cool to shoot that with JB. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be early night to now, night, um, we still don't have a cooker, so dinner tonight is the old apple pie, so we don't know how it goes um, with cold water, but I don't care, I'm hungry, tired, but loving it, so catch you in the morning for day four, we've got rain on the roof, so we'll rain on the tent roof, and we'll see what day four brings, catch you in the morning. Day four, and a bit of rain. About to go for a walk. Um, so yes, there we go. Another staggy. Yeah, hopefully this rain eases, but it looks like it's set in. But you never know.
Ready, JB? Let's go. Okay, we're all packed up. Got a thunderstorm overhead. Time to, <laughs> Time to get down. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Not ideal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hi right, guys, so we just got to the hut and it was miserable up there. But we made it. Uh, we dodged the lightning, got smacked in the face by the hail. But yeah, it's backcountry huts. In New Zealand, uh, there's a network of these through the backcountry, so we'll be staying here tonight. Dry all our gear out, regroup, and then go again. Four days in and our first hot brew for the trip, so yeah, she have been hanging for this. It's amazing how such a little thing can be, what's the word? Um, <laughs> such a little thing can be so demoralizing we don't have it. Yeah, a hot brew goes a long way. Okay, we're on the move. Um, just packed up camp and we're heading down, got a fair bit of rain overnight but the plan is to push this down this gully or valley and hit up another one so we'll see what the weather does but so far it's dry, hopefully it continues. Nice. Well, glassing the other side of the valley, a close roar was heard behind, so we closed the distance.
was pretty small. Oh, I had to deal. Okay, end of day five, just pushed down to another hut, and yeah, pretty big day with the packs, covered a well, fair few Ks. Uh, in this afternoon, we managed to roar in, I think it was an eight pointer. John, I got a good look at it, hopefully, got a bit of footage, and then also saw a six point stag as well out feeding. So, good way to finish the day. Uh, we'll see what the weather does tomorrow. If it's looking good, we'll uh, fly camp for a couple of nights away. So, yeah, we'll catch you in the morning. Day six, <clears throat> and we're up with our packs, and we're heading up that way, up into the tops. So beautiful morning. So we're pretty much just packing up now, waiting for the chopper, and this is going to wrap up the South Island trip. Um, amazing few days, chasing red deer around the hills, um, stoked to get the 10-pointer. Uh, we saw plenty of animals, plenty of young stags, uh, no big, big boys, but definitely a few stags with potential. So yeah, we'll just finish packing up and then we'll be heading back into the North Island where I have got a six-day trip planned with the old man chasing seeker deer. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see subs if you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Catch you later.